today. I am out on the graphic road here in Accra to meet a young woman who has been a victim of road traffic accident. She is called Naomi Ado. She lives around the graphic railway slum, 600 meters from the graphic road highway. Tears build up in her eyes, and even before I engage her, she breaks down. <laughs> And on that day, Naomi saw her eight-year-old class two daughter off to school, hoping they would reunite later in the day. This, however, became a mere wish. traffic light on that day, Naomi was so sick that she wasn't able to rush to the Kolebu teaching hospital to see her daughter. I It is when the first car hit her, a second one ran over her at the graphic road traffic light intersection. According to hospital records from the Kolobu Teaching Hospital, her pupils had dilated and was bleeding from the nose and mouth by the time they reached the hospital. She also had a deep cut on her forehead. Her dream of becoming a journalist ended right there. When we start mentioning children in this society, children from this level of society and what their, their loss means to their families, then we probably would, would start sitting up. For example, if it's an only child, for example, if it is a child born out of so many years of trying to have a child or a child it's been four years.